It's actually really cool. So they got a platform over here that you can jump from. They've got a little swim up dock that you can go hang out on. Actually, they got two of them. There's another one over here. Good morning, explorers. Good morning. We're at the Edward Ball Wakala Springs State Park today. It's located in Crawfordsville, Florida. It is $6 to get in. There are plenty of activities here. There is actually an old hotel that sits on the property in which you can stay. It's got 27 rooms mm -hmm. and look online because they book up fast. We wanted to stay here, but we couldn't get in. Yeah, it was booked it's, up. it's booked way ahead of time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the largest spring head is in this park and it is 70 degrees. They have a restaurant. Uh, we do have reservations. We booked online, so. Yeah, so we will be there at uh, about one o'clock today. Yeah. And then there's the glass bottom boat tour, which we did not get reservations. I think you can book online, but then it also says that you have to book at the lobby, I think it said. Yeah, we tried to ask him yeah. when we got to the gate and they said no. Unfortunately, a rainstorm rolled through here yesterday, so they had to reschedule mm -hmm. everybody from yesterday to today. They do have a place that is an alligator area, but that area is away from the swimming area. <laughs> so don't worry. I know if you read that, you're like, ah, but don't worry, there's no alligator. No one gets eaten by alligators here. <laughs> they are protected, so don't bother them yeah, in that area. As it is with most places. Yeah. So. All right, well, let's walk around and take a look. Yep. This is the Spanish Lodge. Um, it was open to the public in September of 1937. Mm. And it was also listed in the National uh, Historic Registry in 1993. Yeah, so like this is the place we were talking about. Um, they book up real fast. If you wanna get here, <laughs> plan in advance. We're gonna see if we can't get a couple inside shots in that too. But it has a, a Spanish decor, so it's Yes. Really, really nice old architecture. Supposedly it has period furniture, an original elevator, and a very colorful painted ceiling depicting oh, wildlife. Nice. Yeah. So. The restaurant is also attached to the hotel. I'll show the other entrance there in a minute. They have this tragic story of old Joe, who old was an alligator that lived here. He was probably one of the most photographed alligators in the place. And they found him murdered early one Monday morning in uh, 1966. And it's still a unsolved mystery. He never harmed, molested, or did anything to uh, attack a human. The old style elevator. There's a conference room in the back there. It's nice. Got a banquet hall. So that was a brief look at the lodge. Very beautiful in there. I yeah. definitely want to come back and stay here. Yeah. If uh, we forgot to mention it before, there was plenty of hiking in this area. Trails that cross the road and that, so there's plenty to do here. And it looks like you can even run bikes and oh, yeah. go on those trails too. So, but yeah, I think you would do that all at the lobby. Yeah. All right, well, it is hot out here. Yes, let's go swimming. So we are gonna go switch to the GoPro and get in the water.
a little bit of history oh, here. Yeah, I was reading a bunch of it. There's still so much to know about this place. Yeah, so it started with uh, Native Americans dating back thousands of years. years. Yeah. There's a little bit of Hollywood history here. Yep. Two movies at least were filmed here. The Creature from the Black Lagoon and the Tarzan Secret Treasures. Yeah. Edward Ball had was looking in 1920 for land, and 1931 he found this place, and this is, I guess, the beauty that he fell in love with. <laughs> All right, let's go get this over with. All right. <laughs> All right, Michael's gonna go over to the dock. Okay, that dive tower is calling my name. <laughs> so I'll probably do both levels, but I may start with the higher one first just to get it over. They got a higher one and then a lower one, it looks yeah. like. so. Yeah. All right, get to it. As much as I'd love to go down there and explore, as I do in most of my videos, um, they don't really allow you to do that because there's people just jumping yeah. constantly. And that's the only deep area. Yeah, as you can see here, they have it roped off with swimming. If he could go past those lines, there's, there's plenty deep over there. Yeah. But they say no. Yeah, not allowed. I don't think you want to go over there because then you're you're a lone swimmer. <laughs> with, and with a bunch of alligators. With a bunch of alligators. And that's what he said, that they don't bother people here. Yeah. But they look for lonely prey. Yeah. you will be the only guy in the water. the only guy that's over there. <laughs> no. Oh well. Oh well. Go for it. <laughs> there was another movie that was filmed here where there was a, like an airplane disaster movie. Yeah, and they so sunk they a sunk a fuselage inside the uh, the, spring. the deep part of the spring over there to uh, I think, film. I, I think it might have exploded too. Yeah, this is before things were environmentally yeah. protected. Yeah, yeah, back before we knew better. <laughs> yeah, if you can find it. We'll put it down. Yeah, over here is the glass bottom boat tours. Like we said, we don't have. Um, a ticket today, yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, we were back booked because it rained yesterday. Um, from what I saw, it was eight dollars a person to take the glass bottom boat, so it's reasonably priced. Yeah, I know this. Uh, it, I mean, look at the water. Yeah, this would definitely be something. It'd be worth it. Yeah. Just to check out. Yeah, see the big fish. Yeah. So we can't get a boat tour today, or you may not be able to get one when you come. There's a it's like a little mini museum. They yeah. just show the fossils that they found here and a little bit of history to the Yeah, place. and they found like little bottles from yeah. like the Civil War, stuff like that yeah. in there. Um, she says to definitely go online, get those reservations. Please. Yeah, because apparently they used to not do it. Now they do do it. So make and they, sure they go you, fast. Yeah, make sure you Especially get on Sunday. We should have known better. Right. This is the lodge at Wakala Springs. Um, I asked the lady, she said it is definitely recommended to get reservations because you're not going to get in here. Um, if not, so yeah. yeah. So Plan accordingly. I went online and there was a little spot to get them. We'll put a link below. So. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Alright, we're going to put in our order. It smells so wonderful. It does. Here. Yeah. <laughs> so this menu has a little bit of everything. This, on this side, it's mostly sandwiches and salad and soup. And we've got tons of appetizers. They have fried pickles. Of course, we're getting those mozzarella sticks. Um, they got fried green tomatoes, which are delicious. If you never had one, try it. 
um, zucchini, all that stuff. On this side, though, we got our hamburgers, our steaks, our ribeyes, um, grilled liver. So it's a huge menu, and you can either do really fancy or you can do sandwiches. I think we're gonna do sandwiches after swimming, you know? You don't really feel like eating heavy. Our appetizers arrived. Oh my god, look at these. Yeah. They're sliced long ways. For the pickles? For the pickles and then the mozzarella sticks. Yes. Yum. Look very delicious. Yep. Alright, we're waiting to put in our order still. I think we know what we want. Yeah. But um, let's go ahead and dig into the appetizers. Yeah. The food has arrived. <laughs> Look at this slice of this shrimp. Yeah, shrimp. Oh, boy. <laughs> mm -hmm. Those Big are shrimp. huge. That's my chicken club right there. Yeah. That looks delicious. My uh, the club sandwich mm -hmm. looks pretty good. Yep. Nickel, Nickel, I got the, I got the same thing. Except for the fact that I got mac and cheese. cheese. <laughs> but time to chow down. We're starving. We got a nice little drive home. Yep. Yep. We finished our meal, which it was, was delicious, delicious, by the way. Yeah. Um, um, we decided to just split a pecan, a slice of pecan just pie. A, just a little taste. Yeah, just so we so can enjoy they it. They have a whole bunch of stuff. They have tiramisu, key lime, all that stuff. But we went mm. with pecan because I've been wanting to have a piece this whole trip, and I yeah, we've, we've never been had full room every yeah. day. <laughs> that was so delicious. It's just pecan in your mouth. <laughs> so this is the Pollard uh, restaurant. They have two actually on site. Um, this is you can get like ice cream and boiled peanuts and hot dogs, nachos. There's like a little gift shop here too. You can get all your little trinkets. Okay, explorers. All right, I think we've kind of found everything there is to do here. Yeah. This place is awesome. It definitely is. Yeah. Um, I checked out the hotel and for a month or to a weekend in July is like $300 for two nights. That's not yeah, bad. Yeah, not too bad. So about $150 a night. Yeah. So. Um, we also did find out the movie that had the uh, airplane fuselage underneath the water. Which is the one I, when she said it, I thought of this movie instantly. Yeah. So, Airport 77. If you've never seen it, it is cheesy. It's as very heck. cheesy, but it's, you know, it's one of those cult classic type things that you just gotta yeah, see. Yeah, the whole airport series we watched uh, during the pandemic. Yeah. Yeah, so definitely worth a watch. Yeah. So, uh, thank you for coming along with us. We hope you enjoyed this video and maybe inspired you to get out and explore yourself. Yeah, definitely head to Wakula because this place is awesome. Definitely. <laughs> Find yourself in the panhandle. Yep. Keep exploring. And we'll see you on the next one.